Welcome to Mod Vincolo. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. You're going to have to forgive me a couple things that I've been doing or thinking about. Um, as I've been posting more, um, both my Etsy and my eBay store are starting to take off, which is exciting. <clears throat> However, there's a couple of things that I'm learning. One, I don't know really how to post a video to make it to where it's like this. I did, a friend gave me um, a GoPro, a used one that I need to figure out. <clears throat> I'm a little technologically in advance, so I'm going to be working on that. And a couple of other things, too, is I think in an effort to um, keep myself accountable, I'm going to be doing a video once a week. That's my that's my goal. As I've been posting to my shop, too, please tell me what your thoughts are. Um, some Saturdays, I really just get into the mode of just posting to Etsy and to eBay, so I... Um, haven't been doing my Saturday drops as much. Do you guys want me to continue those? Is that helpful or is there a different format so it's not so overwhelming where I just do one big post and then do like the information underneath? And if you hear dogs barking, I'm going to have to push pause because I think the dogs are like out and running around. <laughs> anyway, so <clears throat> these are just ramblings. Feel free to give me opinions, advice. I will gladly take anything and everything. Um, the other thing is too that because I am growing now, um, I'm going to start, um, I'm going to change it over to an LLC. That's a little, I, I'm a little nervous about that, to be honest. I'm going to have to, see, told you. So they saw a squirrel outside, so they had to let me know and everybody else in the neighborhood know. <clears throat> Anyway, so <laughs> I'm a little nervous about it for a couple of reasons. Um, one, I need to set up um, what I'm doing as a legitimate business. I need to keep track and, and organize the information of what I buy, etc. So there's a couple of things that go hand in hand with this. Is it better to do like QuickBooks? Is it better to start off when you really don't have it? You know, this this cash flow of things coming in regularly um, or money coming in regularly. Do you recommend just doing like? A spreadsheet. What are your thoughts? I, I really would like some feedback. The other thing is I'm a little nervous. I've, you know, obviously I've never set up an LLC. So I know it's, I've been told by friends that it's not difficult. So I just need to bite the bullet and do it. So those are two things I'm going to do. But um, the point of this video is my hope is that I'm going to be able to show you when I source, um, do some estate sales, that type of thing, because eventually I'd like to expand more into that area. But I thought it'd be fun to show you what sold um, just in the last like 24 hours. So just three things, which doesn't sound like a lot, but to someone who's really starting out and really trying to make a go out of something that I desperately love and I just want to have fun with it, um, it's, it's, it's exciting every time I hear that cha-ching. Um, <laughs> or get that message of time to send out your um, merchandise. So first thing I, I sold was this Peruvian coffee slash tea. Now I did, you know, disclose that it doesn't really sit that well on top the the lid because I feel like you have to disclose everything because otherwise people will return stuff. But it is really pretty. And so I wanted to make sure that when I um, posted it that they knew it was hand painted. I think I picked this up for, uh, I want to say, $1.99 at Goodwill and I sold it for $22. So now remember when I'm also talking about this, this doesn't take into account um, fees um, because Etsy and eBay do charge you to use their platforms um, to sell merchandise. So so there is there is that little thing that I have to include too and I want to keep track of that. So that's the other reason why I'm trying to decide spreadsheet or do I do QuickBooks? Um, the other thing to save time is I'm looking at different um, apps where you can cross post and also just delete stuff um, just one time. So I am looking at that. The next thing that I uh, sold was this Budweiser um, mug. I guess it, I don't know, for those beer drinkers mug. I don't know. But it's like a first edition um, from the 80s. This I purchased for $3.99 at Goodwill, and this just sold on eBay for $50. So, I know, this is the second one I've sold for $50. So, I, I did 
make all my money back, which is nice. The last thing is um, new old stock. So what I try to do is when I do list something clothing-wise, um, this was on eBay, the other two were on Etsy. I did sell one of those uh, mugs, the Budweiser mugs on um, eBay, and then one on Etsy, um, same price. In fact, I only have two left. They do have minor flaws, so I think I'm gonna reduce the price to $30 um, each. So we'll see how that goes. Um, the last thing that I did, this was a, a new old stock. And that just means that it was never worn. Um, it still has the tags on it. Sorry, I was getting a phone call. <laughs> it has still has the tags on it. That's the other reason why I need to set up the GoPro because I am to be able to do this from the phone is is really challenging and difficult. So. I'm learning, I'm learning, and you guys get to see me fumble through this, so God bless you for watching. <laughs> so, um, this is a new old stock, as I said, that just means the tags are still on there, it was never worn, and I sold this on, I picked this up at a honey hole that I won't disclose, but it's a place that I love, and this is not a Goodwill, um, but I, I think I picked this up for a total of seven dollars and I sold it on eBay for 42 this sold within a couple of hours when I listed it so that also makes me wonder too with eBay is the platform maybe I need to focus on for clothing um, and Etsy more for my vintage stuff now I say that after I sold one of these on eBay as well for $50 and I have sold a couple of other um, memorabilia type of stuff for like Disneyland and I did really well on that. But again, I want a regular income. Things that I'm learning, you have to post regularly. You've got to put up new things in your store regularly. My store also doesn't really have a picture or anything, so I've got to get that changed right away. Um, the more traffic you have or the more, the more you're posting, the more that you're putting into your shop, the more people are clicking onto your shop for traffic-wise. So I'm trying to set a goal of between 5 to 15 items to post each day which doesn't seem like a lot the problem is if you're cross posting though it does take a lot of time so I, I usually cross post to Facebook marketplace because I know you've seen that I post to eBay as well as Etsy I would like to change that that's why I'm looking at apps where when you do one post it cross posts to everywhere including like Poshmark um, so I don't know if where do you guys shop the most when you're shopping for things online? Are you shopping on eBay? Are you looking at Etsy? I look at Etsy for more things um, that are unique for sure. So that's why I feel like it's kind of a, a platform for some of my um, rare finds. So I don't know. I don't know. But moving forward, I've asked you guys a lot of questions. I'm hoping to get your input. This is going to be a shorter video um, my hope is that I can show you what sold videos kind of like this, but maybe a different format. Um, because again, I'm still learning and I'm hoping that, you know, having a 15 year old kid that's good with technology, maybe she can <laughs> help me because it's really embarrassing. To... Okay. I'm about to have a, a, a birthday here in the next couple of weeks, getting my hair done. I'm really excited to see Nikki. Um, she does my hair. I love her and she does my hair well, but it dawned on me, I don't feel old, but every time I try anything with technology, I feel old. So I'm learning. I will take all the, t the tips and tricks and anything you want to throw my way. Please, please help me. <laughs> please help me. And if you enjoy this video, please give a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I'm hoping to make quality videos and I'm going to get better at it I swear um, in the coming weeks um, as I learn new formats and everything um, but it really helps me out as well as um, tells me gives me feedback as to what you guys want to see do you want to see the Saturday shop drop do you want to see more content in a specific area where I go out and source more do you want to see more of what sold that kind of thing just tell me I would love to know so I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you soon Hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel.